What do you think about using of insulin in pre-contest, off-season and so on? Well, I never used insulin uh, pre-contest because I was always very concerned about getting super shredded condition and I felt that would interfere with it. Uh, I did use insulin in 96 and 97 in off-season and I was able to get a bit bigger but I don't believe it was quality, uh, you know, and uh, the waist started to get a bit bigger, yes. you're holding more water in the muscles so of course you're heavier and you're bigger but you have to lose the water it anyway. So yes, exactly. And uh, perhaps this is one of the reasons that we see a decline in the quality of the competitors. Yes. You see a lot of guys with a lot of muscle but uh, not quality, not the condition and uh, I'm gonna say it, I said it before, even the professionals at Mr. Olympia, the condition is not great now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry but it's not. Yes, you, know? you are true. Uh, okay, what about actual trend in bodybuilding? You know there are some, after the Arnold speaking at Arnold Classic, there were some people dividing two, two groups. One, okay, these boys are big, it is okay. And yeah. there is a big uh, group of people that are saying this trend is not good. What do you think? What is your opinion? Well, I think it's bodybuilding. So the idea is to build as much muscle mass as you can fit on your frame and it's aesthetic and it's in condition and it's a very low body fat. So that's what we're not seeing. We're seeing big guys, yeah, but they're not in condition and the waist is not tight. So all things being equal, yeah, it's bodybuilding. I think the big guy should win, but he should be in shape, should be proportionate, should be, uh, you know, uh, aesthetic looking to some degree. So when the guys get too big and their belly is big and everything, uh, it doesn't look good, but I don't see why there has to be two separate camps, you know? Why yeah. can't they have a guy like myself and in the, in the 90s that was shredded and big and uh, also proportional? Yes, yes. We don't see that now. It was golden. This was, I said every time <laughs> that this was a true golden era. Your years, Kevin Lebron. I believe so, you know. Um, many factors may be involved but you get this in sports even in boxing you can say in the 70s the boxing was much better you had Muhammad Ali you had George Foreman you have uh, Frazier you have many great people in one time and uh, that's what happened in the 90s and it was very competitive a lot of guys and they all say you know we have to come in shape because we knew the other guy would be in shape so you have this now you know the other guys are not really in a great shape so the standard generally is lower so uh, I don't I don't think it looks great to have a big belly and uh, and all this stuff but why you can't have a tight belly and uh, a lot of muscle as well that's what that's what we did you know yeah okay but if you can pick up one one bodybuilder from top who you like I'm not a big fan of any of the guys really on stage now, to be honest. But obviously, I think Bill Hill, if he's in shape, then he's the best guy that we yeah. have there right now, you know. And uh, great round muscles. Yeah, but for the fans, I don't think it's very interesting because you have one guy. If he's in shape, he's going to win. We already know that. <laughs> and then after that, it goes down. You know, it's not great. So, okay, thank you very much for your time, Dorian. Okay, thanks.